What's up everyone, this is Aim from Aim Harvard Training here, coming out to another vlog. Today's topic will be auto-regulation and the importance of it. So auto-regulation is knowing when to push it and when not to push it in the gym. You have to understand that everything outside the gym, stress, work, relationships, all affect what happens in the gym. When you're in the gym, it affects what happens outside the gym. So you need to understand that the program you are on, if it is percentage based like 531 or Shaco or Small Up or a heap of pro other programs out there, that you won't be able to go in there some days and hit what you need to hit. This is not the program's fault. And in a way, I, wanna, I don't want to say it's your fault, but it's your body's reaction to what's happened during the day. So the take home point from this is if you are on a percentage based program, understand that everything needs to be relevant to how your day went. You need to understand how to bring stuff down if possible and how to rise it if you're having a really good day. Uh, this is why coaches ha is good, why having somebody beside you who's a trainer who's kind of understands your body, understands how you're lifting, understands how you are, when you should push it and when, you're not, when you don't need to push it. Uh, a perfect example is I was training athletes yesterday and I, I moved into a maximum strength phase with them and I want them to hit seven sets with 90% or more of their one rep max for a front squat for two reps. But we've never actually tested a one rep max on a front squat. So I had to stand there and kind of see what a weight felt looked good for them. But I didn't want them to fail. I didn't want them to the second rep all the time. Because what I wanted them to do was seven sets, two reps, the same weight. So my idea was that basically I needed to know that when he hit 100 kilos, there was at least maybe two or three or more reps in him. So that's why a coach is good to do that. But he needs to go into the gym on his own without a coach because we're not always going to have a coach there or a trainer or somebody who can watch that form or a really good training partner who knows his stuff and needs to understand that today is a good day maybe i go 110 today but next week maybe i go 90 kilos and that's not bad because he drops to 90 kilos doesn't mean he's not there's oh jesus oh, i'm really i'm really upset that i I've dropped 20 kilos last week I did 110 this week I'm only doing 90 it is about the accumulative work over the course of your training period might do 91 this week did 110 it'll all bounce out in the end so just remember that at the end of the day there is you and the entire your entire life affects what goes on in your training so you got to take that into account a good way is to have a little journal and kind of just mark one to five, one being fantastic, five being really bad, how you, how your sleep went that, that night, how your hydration's been, how your food has been, how much stress you think you've been under, and how many hours of work did you work today, and was it physical or was it sedentary or what was it, and that's just for yourself, not even for a coach, and then you can kind of just put that against the days you do really well, and put that against the days you do really bad, have a look review self self reflection on what went well and why maybe you bench on a sunday and you don't work weekends you work monday to friday nine to five and your bench is shooting up you, you can't believe it's shooting up so quickly but your squat is not moving whatsoever but you squat on a wednesday and you work 10 hours on a wednesday and 10 hours a day we're actually traveling all day so maybe you should have a look at changing your squat day to your bench day, your bench day to your squat day, just for a few weeks and see what happens. See if your squat starts to rise and your bench maintains or kind of still rises a little bit. And then you'll have, then you'll kind of, so the understanding is that you know how your body is reacting to the stimulus you're putting under. But the main point of auto regulation is to understand the whole day and everything that goes on during the day affects what's going on in the gym. So you need to know when to pull it and when to to, to push it harder thanks very much look forward to uh, doing some more vlogs if you got any questions uh pm me on facebook or just comment under this this video here please like and subscribe and share it i'm really trying to spread the word um about kind of like training properly 
training optimally and the main thing is is training for what you're trying to do if you're a bodybuilder train for a bodybuilder if you're a strong man train for a strong man but if you're an athlete you need to train like an athlete there's too many people out there who are playing sports who are getting injured year in year out because they are doing the stupid stupid programs that some gym instructors give them where they tell them to do bicep curls and tricep push downs if they want to be a soccer player it's not going to make a difference. You need to be squatting. You need to be deadlifting. You need to be doing mobility work every single day. You need to be doing single leg work. Especially a lot of core work. So this is what I'm going to try and change. So if you've got any questions let me know. Thank you very much.